What's going on guys, Bertie here. I'm actually bringing some Advanced Warfare. I know I usually stick to Black Ops 3 and that's what you guys are used to seeing, but I just want to say I did play this game a lot. I really did enjoy it when it came out. I think like the very first thing, um, the month before like all the new, ever, no one really had the Elite guns. They were really rare or any of the different guns. Now, I wanted to just talk about this gun because I know we already know Infinite Warfare is probably going to have the Black Ops 3 movement, but let's actually just think about the future. Let's ponder and wonder about the future. Because Advanced Warfare, if they go to Advanced Warfare 2, which I think is honestly going to be more likely, I think there's some things that they need to do with this game. Because look at the bow right there. The thing just took out everyone. The bow is an amazing weapon. And it is a variant. It's an elite variant. But I'm going to tell you guys what I think Advanced Warfare 2 should do. I don't mind having the movement and stuff, but I, this is it's too much in this game. It's weird. It's hard to control sometimes. It's just so bouncy. You have to. It's almost like the maps are meant for nothing but that. And that's the only way to win gunfights is just jump up in the air and dash back and forth. It honestly, it just sucks. We're tired of seeing that. We have saw it with all these games. And... I think that made a huge mess mistake. And there's another thing Black Ops 3 did, but you can reload while sprinting with Black Ops 3. I think you there might be a perk with this. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna be honest. I'm not gonna be 100% correct on this. But I noticed that happened in this game in older CODs where I would run and then I couldn't reload while I was running. Or I don't know. But I feel like Black Ops 3 has babied us so much. Now that I go to Advanced Warfare and other games, there's certain things I don't have like six cents. Tough or toughness taking out was okay. But it's in this game. It's just one of those things where all these CODs make great games, but they're never really... They're always missing something or doing something wrong. They have the good, there's the bad. That's any COD. Where we can't have perfection. But I think as a team of YouTubers and fans, we can honestly have some kind of... Our input should be valuable to these people because we do pay them the money for the game. We pay for their supply drops. We um, Our opinions matter. We really do. We, are the, we basically are the owners of this game. It might be created by Sledgehammer, but we do pay the game, or play the game. Yeah, we pay for the game, then we play the game. Or wish, at least I hope we all pay for it if we play, or play it if we pay for it. Um, but one thing I'm looking for Advanced Warfare 2 is honestly just go to skins like CSGO and Black Ops 3 did. Don't, well, there's going to be supply drops in it, we know that. It's going to be in every COD probably until they never, st or until they start losing money. But I think we should honestly just lose the variants because with when this game very first came out, I had so much fun with it. You know why? Because we had the BAL, the ASM-1, the HBRA-3, the ARX, whatever the thing is I'm using right now. We had those without the actual base weapons, um, or without the variants. Like we had those, but they weren't so common. They were rare, I think. Uh, that's all I remember is really rare. I didn't get any of the elites to weigh on. And once I did, I was able to be really good with my guns because, I mean, you have an HBR3 with more damage and a higher fire rate, and that thing's going to be shredding people. You can put a suppressor on it and still kill people faster than you would like any other gun. But I think it needs to just go to that. I want to see more of a Black Ops. I don't want to even see Black Ops 3 movements. I think it would be fine if we just had wall running and the sliding for Black Ops 3. That would make it unique, be kind of fun, just make it where we could just do stuff like that. That way so they couldn't jump over your head from wall running and get higher than they usually would be with the boost. And um, it's just going to be a pain in the butt, I think. I think they should really listen. So just take that out, put skins in the game. I love the weapons, actually, if they would just make it like that. But without having the variants, it'd be awesome. Um, take out the... Make a more controlled, um, smaller... I'm not... I guess EXO movement, I guess is what it's going to be called or considered in the next COD. Which then again, there was someone that tweeted from Advanced Sledgehammer saying, we listened and we did it effing right. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. So think about that. I think we might be actually getting maybe an older COD. I don't know. It might happen. I'm not sure. And like I said, sorry about my voice. It's, I'm under the weather a little bit. All this allergies and stuff. I might be talking too fast. I do apologize. Just trying to get the content out there. It's... Hopefully the tomorrow will be better. But anyways, guys, leave in the description or in the comment section what you guys would, what you guys think about um, the next game that's going to be coming out. Not Infinite Warfare, but from Sledgehammer, which is 2017. Remember, just leave it in the comments what you think. Um, it's been good, guys. I had a blast making the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content every day. Hopefully every day. Anyways, guys, it's been good. I'm out. <laughs> UAV above.